from all around Central Texas. You're watching KWTX News 10. Welcome back, everyone. As a female veteran and entrepreneur, our next guest is using what she learned in combat to build a business and give back to other veterans in the process. Sarah Ford is the founder of Ranch Road Boots, and she is joining us now with more on her amazing story and beautiful boot collection as well. Sarah, thanks so much for being here with us. Thanks for having me. I, so Texas, born and bred, and was boots something that you always thought might be in your future? So I grew up in San Angelo. My dirty secret is that I was born in San Diego. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't tell anyone else. So, okay. <laughs> it's just between us. We got, um, so I moved to San Angelo when I was one, and my grandfather was a cowboy in the 30s there, so he inspired at an early age my love for boots, and he was a total character. So um, I've always been a boot lover, and I've been a custom boot purchaser myself, too, and all this was before I started Ranch Road. And so what do you think about like your boots that make them different than than other boots that are out on the market so um for starters um the the brand what we try to do it's 250 steps to make a pair of our boots wow. it takes 48 hours from beginning to end to make a pair um these are all goodyear welted and they're all they're all handcrafted so I think we have some footage actually of yeah of, of them getting made, made. Yeah. so this um this is a wonderful factory that we're working with in spain and this uh, this is the Calhoun County that you see being made right now. So there's just a lot of uh, talent that goes into making our boots. Um, the second thing that makes us special, our little rosette is a logo that we have on all of our boots. Just saw it. And then um, it's subtle, but it's there on them all. And then finally, we're selling boots differently. So we sell direct to consumer, so pro primarily through our website. And by doing that, our boots aren't cheap, but I want every customer to feel like they got more than they paid for. Mm -hmm. okay, so, and that you have something very, very special. Now, yeah. you're speaking of special, your story is extremely unique. So you served, th I guess, three tours of duty, right? Yes. So three tours of duty. And then at what point did you say, okay, when I leave the military, I'm going to go to Harvard? <laughs> <laughs> so I... Um, Yes, I have a unique path and we celebrate everybody, even for our customers, all do really cool things in their life and do cool things in our boots. So we have our hashtag, a path worn well. And um, my own path is unique, as you said. So I grew up in West Texas, went to University of Texas, and then I worked for a software company and quit and joined the Marine Corps. I joined June of 2001. So um, September 11th happened after I joined. And so it was a very busy time in the Marine Corps. And it really, um, it was, it was as is it was amazing because I learned so much in su such a short amount of time, um, and I really value my time in the Marine Corps. Um, I feel like I got more out of the Marine Corps than it got out of me. Um, I did logistics and um, and I and I worked with some wonderful people, and a lot of those people are still serving. So. Um, I, I decided to get out of the Marine Corps after two tours, and then I applied to one business school, and I got in at Harvard. And um, wow. <laughs> I know, wow, that's like a pretty big one to get so into. That, so I, I only had time to apply to one. <laughs> so I, um, I applied there. Um, I had uh, fellow Marines had gone and so set the example and gave me like the encouragement to apply to and then I got recalled actually so I did one more tour of duty after I got out of business school I went oh, wow. to Afghanistan. Well wow. and do you feel like being able to create these boots especially with the mission of being able to give money directly back to Marines is able to sort of combine your love of country and military with your love of being an entrepreneur? Yes, um, certainly. So since I started the business every year, we've donated to the Semper Fi Fund, which not only helps Marines, they also help all branches of service through America's Fund. Um, it's got wonderful ratings on Charity Navigator. So um, uh, giving back has always been a part of it and we have even bigger plans to be able to do more in that as we grow too. And it, do you think that um, being able to help, I know we, we have showed a picture, we have a photograph of you being able to even make custom boots for like a military amputee. Obviously that means much more coming from someone who knows much more about the military and has such a personal experience like you. To be able to do that, has that been it's, fulfilling for it, you? It is, of course. And so um, we, we've been able to modify our boots so amputees can get them on prosthesis. And so um, veterans and non-veterans alike have reached out to us to help with that process. And it's something that as we grow, I would like to do in a more impactful way. Um, maybe even similar, something similar like the Tom's One for One program. Um, it's just really special and it's like, um, it's, it's, it's much more personal. The Ranch Road Boots, a way to give back too. All right, so you have some Black Friday sales coming up Yes, as well? Boot Friday 30 is gonna start 
at noon on Thanksgiving, and it's going to run to the end of Black Friday, and it is 30% off of everything on our website. Awesome. And your website? ranchroadboots.com. Very cool. Thank you so much for um, your service to our country, first of all, and for bringing over these amazing clutches. I know the first thing I did, smell them. <laughs> and they smell wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming in and for showing us your amazing products, and thank you again for your service. We really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Uh-huh. We'll be back after this.